Hey, did you get that gulp out of your tea? Hey, come on, man. <laughs> hey, uh, that client, uh, keep going. Oh, oh, right, right. So this guy's saying crap in my ear, and, and I'm telling him I can't bribe the judge. This isn't some TV show, man. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, I can argue the best, but I can't do all that. I can bend the rules, but I don't think it's supposed to bend that way. Of course, the guy's going off to jail now. Hey, you got a good paycheck though, right? Of course I did. Hey, that's all that matters. Let's drink. Carol's taking forever. All right, so this guy got in the elevator with me, just me and him. And he started pitching me. No! I know, he started pitching me a screenplay all the way up. And he was just blabbering his mouth about some, some god-awful western. How many floors do you have to go up? I'm on the top floor, man. <laughs> Carol, what took you so long? Oh, the driver just took forever. Well, pull up his profile, give me one star. Yeah, see, I tried to do that and it just disappeared. I couldn't find it anywhere. Hmm. That's, that's really weird. Do you want a glass of wine? Yes, please. Wait, what do you mean it just disappeared? I don't know, I tried to pull it up and it was just gone. Well, that could be grounds for a lawsuit if he's not an actual driver. Please, the guy's probably low enough as it is. But enough about me. How are you guys? I'm good. I'm great. Are you gonna take off your coat and stay? I suppose. Is this your driver? No. <laughs> what is this? It's a hundred dollars. You dropped it. That is not one hundred dollars. Yes it is. Are you calling her a liar? I can clearly see that this is three cents in your hand. Now, I don't know what type of joke this is or what type of drugs you're on, but this isn't a hundred dollars and no one's laughing. Are those even real? <laughs> yes, they're real. Look at the dates. Do you really think that's $100? That's the way I see it. What do you see when I do this? What did you see there? Same thing I've been seeing. But why? What are you... <sighs> Look, beyond what you're seeing, you can't be on the premises. That's right, you can't be here. Right, we could report you for trespassing. Trespassing. Harassment. Harassment, yeah, you're definitely harassing. Hell, even breaking and entering. Yeah, yeah, breaking and entering. Woo! Now, if we were to take you to court, and we can, it appears that you're in no position to afford a lawyer and you would be appointed one. And he happens to have a very good one. And we are going to milk you for all it's worth. But it could be lessened or even alleviated if you were to leave right now. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before we get into legal business, you say I dropped the dollar bill. Where did I drop it and how long were you following me? You dropped it in the car. You weren't my driver. I was in the car. You just didn't see me. Drop it. 
driver, this is my stop. You never saw me. I told you they don't see us. You were there? The whole time? I was always there. All right, that is it! I don't care whether you have a hundred or a hundred million dollars, you don't get to step foot in this house. I thought I'd give you a lawsuit. It would teach you something. But you followed my girl here. I didn't follow her. I was already in the car. She just didn't see you. I get it. You know why she didn't see you? Because people like you blend in. You always blend in. You should be bagging my groceries and sweeping the dust beneath my feet. You don't belong here, and if you don't get out, I will fuck you up. You understand that? I don't want to sue you. I want to fuck you up just for getting your feet on my floor. I want no part in that. See? He's afraid. I think you people are the ones who are afraid. Really? And what makes you think that? You people are all afraid, not because I've threatened you in any way, but because you isolate yourself from people. This man is your lawyer. Is it normal for somebody to have their lawyer over at their dinner party? There is nothing wrong with being friends with your attorney. You live in a house on top of a hill because you put yourself higher than everybody else. That's why you don't see what I see. Because you put yourself above, with no concept of true value. So that's your point? That I'm so isolated that I'm all alone? Not you, no, no, no. I'm the outcast, me? Me and my big house, and I've got more wealth than you could ever dream. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Actually, I might have to reconsider who's really alone. Invest in some better pockets. Where did he go? I told you, they don't see us. 
And frankly, I don't know if they ever will. No matter if you punch their mouth or place your tongue over their boot. The people on top see above what we see. A completely distorted reality. You understand that now? <laughs>